You are welcome. This video tutorial is a brief review of all the services and features of the platform Volfix.net. After receiving login and password, you will need to fill a login and password box, just as I do. If you want to save the password and the login on this computer, if it's safe, you need to press the button ON in the Save Password field. After that, click Run button, and within seconds we have a main window platform. If your subscription expires in less than two weeks, then you will receive such a message about your subscription expiration. Close the window by one click. Now we shall briefly consider all functions of the window and of the platform as a whole. There is a toolbar at the top of the main window, as in all other platform services. The toolbar is highlighted in red. The toolbar contains functions of any window, and, so to say, hot and the most popular services. The first button is a component. By pressing it, you can see a list of services available in the platform for the current user. There are maybe additional prepaid services. The current user has access to a full set of services. The users having ordinary subscriptions may not access a reverse chart and an arbitrage service, which is not in the list of components. The next function is a chat you must register to use it. More on this a bit later. Order Window is a service for sending stock orders. Our platform allows sending market stock orders through such systems as Rhythmic and CQG Fix for the US market and some gateways for the Russian markets. Plaza 2 is a direct gateway of stock exchange which is available for Russian market. Also, Transac Connector and Smartcom, owned by such brokers as Finam and IT Invest. More on this window a bit later. Autofollow Desk is a desk developed for autofollowing, by which you can monitor and track the performance of public accounts of our clients and also activate the autofollowing service. We will focus on a separate video tutorial about this matter so you can familiarise yourself with all the functions of Autofollow Desk. Now we go on. What is Layout? Layout is a function for saving settings of opened windows and, more exactly, saving their locations and those periods, intervals, which have been assigned in them. More on this a bit later. If you run 5, 10, 15 various modules of the platform in a multi-monitor system, you will be able to save their locations. After you launch your platform, it will immediately and easily open your desktop in the state as you has set it up. The next service is a window. The Given tab allows navigation between opened windows. For the moment, we have only one opened window. However, if we have two or more opened windows, you will see there their list. You will be able easily to navigate between windows, i.e. move from one window to another, from any window of the platform, including the main window. Rating Setup The given function allows customising a rating of public accounts, both demo and real ones, clients using our platform and also robots, i.e. accounts on which automated trading systems trade. Here you can select the display time and, of course, tools. You can type tickers in the platform directly from your keyboard. Suppose that we move from the S&P 500 index futures to the futures for euro or dollar. We change this ticker, press the apply button and see the rating of traders for a given instrument. We can view their trades. As I told you before, you can track these trades in the form of statistics through the auto-follow desk and use them for auto-following. In other words, you are able to connect both demo and real accounts to any public account available in our platform at your discretion. Guest Inscription 
It means that if you do not register with our platform, then you are considered as a kind of a guest and not allowed to participate in the public rating and also a chat. To register, you need to click the left mouse button on the inscription. Will appear a window where you must fill your personal information. It should be noted at once that a username may not be changed, i.e. having assigned your username to your login, which allows access to our platform, you will not be able to change it anymore. The rest of the data may be edited. When you fill all these data and press the save button, you will see your username instead of the guest inscription. You will also be allowed participating in the rating, which means that your public accounts are displayed either under your username if you specify it, or under your login name if you prefer it to your username. Now we go on. Now we shall briefly consider settings of the main window. The first line we can see in the context menu can be called by the right mouse button in any part of a screen is a symbol priority, i.e. priority of symbols or tickers. If tickers are not specified, then the platform will select them by default. Tickers on instruments can coincide on different exchanges. You can decide which exchange you give a priority when downloading data for one or another symbol. You can also give a priority to exchanges and a type of instruments, shares, currencies, futures, etc. The next line in the context menu. I should note that the context menu is available in all services of the platform. More on this a bit later. Global options. Enable or disable sound alert when a new chat message arrives. You can also upload any alert sound files if you wish. You can enable or disable price alert beep and price alert sound. You can enable or disable volume alert beep and volume alert sound. You can enable or disable show exchange news. That is, if there are some exchange news, they will appear in front of you in an information window from time to time. You can disable the window. By Windows Order By option, you can sort opened windows by name, order of opening, ticker. That is, every module and window has its own name. Therefore, you can sort displayed opened windows by the Windows Order By option. If you enable a Confirm Window Close option, then windows will be closed automatically without requesting your confirmation by pressing the C button. If Confirm Windows Close option is switched to the On position, then a window will be closed requesting your confirmation. Thousand separator option separates thousands by apostrophe, i.e. every three zeros will be separated by apostrophe. Line all intervals option activates or deactivates lines on all intervals. In other words, if you plot a line on one chart, then it will automatically appear on all the intervals which you have selected. That is, if you switch from a 5-minute chart to a 15-minute chart, then a line will also remain on the latter interval, or lines will be linked only to the one given interval if you have enabled the option. Intelligent Chart Move The option defines how a chart will move, i.e. it will either follow your mouse moves or jump to the place where you have moved your mouse to. Alert Position The option defines where an alert will appear, either in the place where the mouse cursor is located or in the place where the alert triggered, i.e. on the chart where it has triggered. And the last option. Label note position. The option defines where alert notes, etc. will appear, at the left or top, at the centre, at the right or bottom of the chart. If you make some changes, then press the Apply button. If you wish to restore default settings, then press the Restore Default button. Now we close the window and go on. Export or Import Layout 
If you have saved layouts, i.e. settings of windows, locations, and you wish to export them, for example, share it with your colleague, or transfer them to your PC, then you can easily do it by the using of this function. Symbol Lookup is an option of ticker searching. Let's assume that we need to find an S&P 500 symbol. Enter S&P 500 in the description field. The search returned the following results. Futures contract, CME exchange, E-mini, S&P 500 index. The futures contract is large. Its symbol is SP. The option is useful if you do not know a ticker of a particular instrument. The symbol lookup option was created to find the ticker. The option is available in all the windows and services of the platform. Stay on top is to stay on top of all of the windows. If the option is enabled, then any window of the platform will stay on top of the rest of the windows. The Change Password option allows changing a password. You can see the current password to access the platform, which was sent to you along with a login. Enter your new password twice to change your current password for the new one. Now we move to a brief overview of all the components. Aggregate Statistics I wish to remind you at once that it is a brief casual overview. We shall tell you about every window more detailed in a separate videos dedicated to it. The Aggregate Statistics service allows keeping record of statistical data on trading volumes. Now we select, say, a max volume. We can select a volume over the whole contract. We can select a period by date starting at the beginning of week up to current day. Our current instrument has a 6E ticker, and a trading volume over the last minute is 330 contracts at the price of 1.3670. The maximum volume over the whole contract is 62,682 contracts at the price of 1.3793. The maximum volume between 05-12-2014 and 05-15-2014 is 16,271 contracts at the price of 1.3713. That is, we can add several instruments here and thereby fill the fields in the aggregate statistics window for more efficient work you will see changes in any volumes in tabular form. Now we close the window, a confirmation window appears. Press Yes and go on. All prices. It is a statistical table too, which keeps a record of trading volumes over the selected period. Now I have selected the date of May 15, 2014, and we can see that data are sorted by the volume column. What does it mean? It means that 6,008 contracts have been accumulated over the present day at the price of 1.3667. In this occasion, the trading volume consists of 2,920 trades. 2,648 contracts have been accumulated at the bid price, and 3,360 contracts have been accumulated at the ask price. The value of delta is equal to 712 contracts at the given price. Now we can see all the prices. We can extend the range in terms of time period and see a different statistics. Let me also bring to your attention the fact that a context menu called by the right click is available in every window. The menu has its own options, 
which will be discussed in detail in the video dedicated to each individual component. Bar chart At first sight, a bar chart differs very little from a so-called classical bar chart. However, it should be noted at once that as to our bar chart, horizontal lines, which are next to every bar, display a price when volume is the highest, but not close prices. In other words, a maximum volume at a price of 1.3672 has been accumulated over the given two bars. The given price is not a close price. Also, we can see that there is an option which allows adding a secondary chart. The feature is available for those who have activated the arbitrage service. That is, you will be able to superimpose two charts into each other, analyse their correlation, etc. Now we can see that there is a delta how one or another instrument has responded to any market event. Let's consider, for example, E-mini S&P 500 and E-mini Nasdaq. We can track their correlation by increasing a period of the price scale, make a chart, for example Nasdaq, more appropriate to work with and monitor interdependence of charts. The feature is useful for making arbitrage transactions. Now we can see a context menu, the symbol lookup option, a second symbol lookup option which allows searching for a symbol of a second instrument. That is, if you don't know a particular ticker of an instrument, you can use the symbol lookup option. Now we go on. We continue our brief overview. Box chart. One of the most popular charts in our platform is our exclusive development. What does it look like? You see the volume for the selected time interval, and you can see how over time built in accumulated data volumes. You are able to filter the given volume. In most of our services, a function of available volume filtration. That means that you can always highlight accumulations of large volumes by colour, lines, etc. More on this function in the videos about the service. Context menu, control panel, selection of interval, etc. are also available in the service. Now we go on. Classic profile. It is a classic letter profile developed by Peter Steidelmeier. There are also a lot of our own improvements for displaying and recording volume. Context menu, control panel, setting limits as to a volume, etc. are also available in the service. More on this in the video about a classical market profile. Cluster chart. Clustered graph, i.e. volume data, are displayed in the form of clusters. You can change a cluster interval. There is also a powerful function of significant volume filtration and display, both by volume and delta, bid, ask, etc. More on this in the videos about the service. Cluster profile more modern version of cluster chart with certain additions, but at the same time there is no possibility of displaying the delta. The chart is tailored for displaying a total trading volume over the selected period. In this case, we can see 15 minute bars and clusters formed during the present day. We can increase the period. We can adjust the chart to scale. Now we can see a horizontal volume over the selected period, i.e. 35,663 contracts have been accumulated at the price of 1.3765 between April 28 and May 15. Now the market is at the bottom. 
I would like to bring your attention to the useful functions at the bottom of each window. The cross mark allows you to return to the current price and a standard chart scale. You can move to the beginning and end of the chart by pressing the arrows. If you press the right arrow button, then the chart will always move leftwards when new bars appear. Now we go on. Combo Bar Chart It is also a unique service developed by us. It allows superposing various periods of price movement of any instrument into a single timescale. Let's consider E-mini S&P 500 index futures as an example. For example, I have already set up five weeks. By pressing the Apply button, we can see charts of five weeks I have selected. The function is effectively and relatively often used for analysing past events. Now we can see that the market has reached the maximum volume during the week highlighted in red. This previous week, and now we can see here, even some struggle and movement in the opposite direction. Those who analyse intermediate term timeframes will be happy to make use of the service. Let me also bring to your attention the fact that you may superpose monthly, weekly, daily and intraday periods onto each other. As you can see, you are able to superpose up to 10 charts simultaneously, assign them different colours, etc. That is, the service is very convenient in terms of analysis of interference of the current situation with the past time periods. The service allows superposing charts of just one symbol, but of various time periods. Now we go on. Delta Search the service allows searching for divergences. It is directly related to the arbitrage service and intended especially for the service. It allows you to display data as a table to find discrepancies. Now we are not going to dwell on the issue since it is a rather complex one. More on this in the video about the arbitrage service. Market Watch Basically, it is a classical market watch. Now I am going to add a group of tickers. The instruments are traded on the Eurex, based in Frankfurt. Its basic instruments are two indexes, Dow Jones Euro Stocks 50 and DAX, and also European bonds. Here you can add tickers manually. Let's add tickers of S&P 500 and NASDAQ. You can create groups of tickers, save them, switch between them rather on the fly, and monitor a performance of one or another instrument. Moreover, one can synchronise the service with already opened windows, and switch simultaneously between instruments in 2, 3, 5 or even 10 opened windows to monitor the situation. More on this in another hour of views. Minute Counter The given type of statistical tables allow searching for volumes over the intervals of interest. Suppose that we need to search over the interval of 1.36 to 1.37 for Euro. Besides, you can search for a total volume within the range of 1.36 to 1.37 on all minutes and over the first 30 minutes. Press the Apply button. Now we can see that the highest price of 1.37 has been reached today and the lowest price is 1.3645. That means that the market didn't go lower. At that, the maximum volume has been at the price of 1.3667 over the period. Besides, it has been accumulated during the first 30 minutes of every hour over the selected period. More on this in other videos about our platform. News The window provides with news services. You can read news here. We have a little sources of news. We are not providing news, but those who take interest in news may read them.
Order Window is a service for sending market orders. It is a rather user-friendly service and enjoys a great popularity. Two demo accounts are linked to every login. You can also connect real accounts through account connections. We do business with CQG Fix, Rhythmic, Smartcom, and Transac Connector. CQG Fix and Rhythmic are intended to trade Western futures, both European and American ones. As for Smartcom and Transac Connector, they are intended to trade Russian futures and shares. More on this in a separate video about how to use the service. Reverse Chart It is a unique development, completely created by us. This view allows you to see the graph of cluster volumes that are not built on the principle of the passage of time, but according to the principle of committing market movement on these parameters in the control panel. Take, for example, a volatility parameter we can see now. When it changes, we have radically different views of the graph. Besides, the chart may be both cluster and absolutely linear. When viewing the linear type chart, areas of so-called volatility are clearly seen. Within the areas, the market demonstrated a great number of vibrations per unit of time, which is often of great assistance for making transactions. More on this service in a separate video. Simulator we also enable viewing past charts in order to learn and improve statistical results of trading. More on this service in a separate video lesson. In a few words, you may activate the simulator service and connect to our database, which contains data on key instruments since 2008. You may download any trading day and see how a chart was building at a various speed, etc. The next component is a tick chart. It is a rather unique component. Now we can see volumes of all ticks over the selected day, i.e. over the present day. How to remove all digits, which represent data on all trades from the chart. By disabling a linear time, we can see that a period of every minute has changed. Now we are able to see all the ticks as they were. However, of course, we don't need all the ticks. We need minutes to be in a linear format. Then we apply a volume limit. In case of Euro, we shall use 200 and 100 contracts. We can see that the volumes we have selected are highlighted, which is very convenient. Volumes of more than 200 contracts are highlighted in red, more than 100 but lower than 200 contracts in green. Therefore, you can see the structure of building every minute of a chart in full, while squeezing enough dates to see not only the last few minutes, but a few hours, and at the same time seeing all the key volumes. More on this in a separate video. Tick Search is a tool for searching tickers. It is organized like all other statistical tables in our platform. Now we can see that data are sorted by a volume here. We can sort by number of traders, volume, price. What does it display? It displays a tick when volume of futures for euro is the highest over the present day. The price is 1.3659 and the tick volume is 423 contracts. At that, the given tick consists of 177 trades without large trades. The largest trade was equal to 16 lots. We can also sort data by this parameter. Here we can see hidden ticks which we shall discuss later. Now we go on. 
Volume journal is a journal of the maximum volume change. What is it? Let's select all. The all means all the time. However, in the case of futures, we imply one contract. Over the duration period of a contract which expires in June 2014, a maximum volume has been changing in such a way. On March 10, more than 1,000 lots and 1,226 contracts were accumulated at the price of 1.3870. The next value of 2,515 contracts was reached at the price of 1.3858, etc. At this moment, 1.3793 is a price with the highest volume. 1.3793 became a price with the highest volume when 20,057 contracts had been accumulated. It remains such a price currently. If suddenly some other price backlog greater than the current leader, it will appear here in the form of statistics. We can also view, for example, changes for the current day. Now we start with 500 contracts and view upwards to see how the price has been changing. As we can see, the price changed from 1.3667 to 1.3668 to 1.3667, etc. That is the structure of the statistical window. Volume search is a tool to search for volumes. Its name speaks for itself. Interval is one minute. What does it mean? All the days ranging from 5 to 15 May 2014 are divided into minute intervals, over which maximum volumes are displayed. For example, on May 8 at 9.01, that is during the first minute of the 10th hour, 1,513 contracts were accumulated at a price of 1.3862. The total volume at all the prices is 3,817 contracts during this minute. The bar size, that is the bar value, is 7,500, and the total number of trades made inside the bar is 1,675. We can switch to second intervals, but only inside a day, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 second intervals and minute intervals, for example, 15 minute intervals. Here you can see a 15 minute interval, which displays a statistics over 15 minutes. 3,587 contracts, total value, bar height, etc. More on this in a separate video. Volume profile. The service allows defining volumes of instruments of interest accumulated over the selected periods of time without applying a chart. Now you can see a total volume of a contract over a month, week, day, hour and a custom period, as an example, between May 5 and 15. Here is a maximum volume of the current contract at the price of 1.3793 which is equal to more than 62,000 contracts. It is also a statistical service. The service is intended for those who take interest in viewing volumes, superposing them into each other and compare them with one another. You can adjust to scale here. As the saying goes, welcome. And the last service is System News, which provides you with news about the platform itself. If new functions are added, improvements and updates appear, then we inform you about it in the window. Now we have completed the brief overview of all the key functions and services of our platform. We also recommend you to watch separate videos about each of these services. Have a nice day and good luck. Good luck trading.